how do you go from calling somebody baby sweetheart to papeleka so if you're being polygamous we switch energy with chelsea you're mad god you would have let me die when i was seven years old baby play with it it will rise i mean are you poor the poor why not pouring your anger that's my dear Iga Huro Tokan Kanike he hooked me up with a therapist there is something they say about once you clock 30 the reason why i don't like spending nights with you is because you don't use deodorant you smell guys are actually like very very audacious when it comes to sex hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl bash if this is your first time of seeing this beautiful faces don't make it your last by clicking on the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber hi guy hi boys hi girls how you doing so for this particular video we don't have any direction you know just like going with the flow but i promise you it's going to be very interesting definitely very very interesting but before that i want to introduce my beautiful beautiful friend she's no longer a visitor in this channel obviously <laughs> so i'm going to let her introduce herself hi guys it's your girl mabu snail ceo mabu snail yeah if you've not ordered a snail why my girl delivers to everywhere in lagos lagos island lagos mainland every fucking where marble snail check out on instagram perfect snail nkobi abacha you know all of that all of that we got you <laughs> so first of all yeah. guys have you watched this trending video of a guy hitting the wife i'm going to insert a clip of that so that you can see it and you know just share your thoughts in the comment section because man it is crazy And the crazy thing is, how do you go from calling somebody baby, sweetheart, to papa <laughs> Mama, you know, I think that there, there are so many things that lead to that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Number one, poverty. Eh? Yes, I'm being serious. Is yes. it really poverty? Yes. No. When there is no money to do most things in the house. I don't believe you. I don't believe it's poverty. Mm. Why poverty? Poverty. Why? Especially when the man of the house cannot meet to his responsibilities. Number one, he starts getting stressed out. A responsible man though. And then it makes it I've seen men that like that that like doesn't live up to their responsibilities. Mm -hmm. They start getting angry at every little things, like every every little things that that, is, that happens around them. Do you understand? Maybe there is no food in the house you know as a man you come to your house there is no food your child that's supposed to be in school is not in school you know and all of those things i think it's the number one thing that causes fights between for people. me i don't think it's poverty do you know why i don't think it's poverty why? a violent man is a violent man whether he's rich or he's poor yeah that's true if you're violent you're violent sorry that's true. Ah, it's in you i'm so sorry i don't that's think it's true but at the same poverty. time there are things that triggers people okay do you understand okay not like, i'm not trying to justify but hold on, what okay. happened in the video okay let me understand something you are the man mm -hmm. right and then it triggers you because you're not able to meet up to your expectations mm -hmm. i'm the woman i mean you poor the poor why are you not pouring your anger that is on me it. why that, are you not hitting me that is it so men are, i'm sorry but i think like so men does not even reason like it like men are supposed to be ah no, no, no. that is justice that video is terrible and then you be like i married my best friend is it really your best friend? Talk true. Hey! So that video, that video is so crazy because uh, that video, it was heartbreaking. God, I was watching I like and imagine I was the even, child. I'm talking about the child. Like, please, for the sake of anything, for the sake of the child. If you ask this woman to leave, she will tell you no. I'm staying because of my child. Excuse you. Please. Excuse I, you. I, I think I need to say something. Yeah, yeah. People like women, girls, I'm not even talking about women, girls. We are still in our twenties, most of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this Gen Z generation. Mm -hmm. Please, don't stay. Don't stay in an abusive marriage because of your children. I think 
biggest lamest excuse I've ever heard. There was something that I actually read on Facebook, and the person was very, very like very detailed in explaining it. I'm not really sure you're staying because of your child. Exactly. You're staying because of your selfish feeling to remain a married and woman. And what people will say. Exactly. I think and if you if say. you if you really care about your children, as you say, you wouldn't want to train them in an in a toxic environment. And those kids, they will grow up damaged. I'm sorry. No matter how you try to shield them from what is happening, they will grow up and they would see. And that's and why you feel. See, and that's why you see some girls, some of us, it happens to some of us. It happens to me, yeah? Growing up, when we start turning into teenagers, when you see fake love, you fall for you it. You will Because if you are not loved in your family, you don't even know what love is in your that's family. sometimes you will be like, that you your love in your house. Divorce is not a sin. It is not. It is I not. I am pro-divorce. I'm, 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 I'm even sure that even god in heaven is still shocking like he's still in shock out of what is happening like i never knew he's going to turn out like this for the sake of your mental health abuse physical abuse emotional abuse emotional abuse is actually the worst emotional abuse abuse is the worst is because the worst. how do you explain no no evidence and the the guy will be no like, evidence you are just feeding your like. health you are feeding your head with rubbish and after feeding your head with rubbish you will come and play it out you understand what i'm saying guys leave you will be all right and this is why i always tell girls that after i want to get married i want to get married ha you go to shiloh everything about it everything about your life is marriage mm -hmm. that expression men smell it from a mile apart and you know the crazy thing eh? some people will be like it's it's actually very easy as a woman to get married if you know what you're looking for if you know what you're doing it's even more difficult for guys to get married because when they want to get married you see guys that have like 10 girls and he wants to get married he can't find anybody exactly. amongst all the girls but girls if you play by the book like if you play by the book you would actually see someone to marry but after the wedding what next thank you after the wedding what next Please. what's going to sustain How that marriage exactly like, we are not even sure they are married though they might be they might be cohabiting. We are not even sure they are married. Let's just say this is about video, but guys, it's just about this thing. We talk about marriage, yeah. Girls, please, we need to do better. Let's have like have a purpose. And you want to get married? You want to get married? You know what are you doing? I don't even blame some extent. I don't blame girls because that is what we were taught growing up. Like that that thing, it doesn't just wipe out. You have to like make conscious intentional efforts for it to like just because when you're when you're growing up it's always like why why, why why are you sleeping yeah. have you stripped the house is that how you behave in your husband's house yeah, it's always about you, the man it's always it's like, like our parents are training us because of our husband exactly yeah so I to some it. extent i don't blame them but then with the world with the way the world is going today yeah, I don't I global. Yeah, I think are like you helping your correct correct are you entering into I married my best friend. Like, most times, eh, like I have this friend. She's not happy in her marriage. Yeah, like the red flags. Like it's choking her. She's not happy. And the one thing about this emotional abuse is, my dear, ega puro tokan kanike. You'll be twenty three and you'll be looking for the five. Trust me, you don't want to be in an abusive marriage. Then this girl now she was like, okay, if she gets out of the marriage, she doesn't have anything to do. She doesn't even have the strength to do anything because I think that's the number one thing. Like girls or women, we are scared if you leave the marriage. But even, even, if, to, even like, in the marriage, you're not doing anything. Yes, even in the marriage, you're not some doing of them, the men, the men like provide for them. The they little they the can, yes. So I feel like that's what's making them. See, let me tell you something. If you want to, you will. It's as simple as that. Well, so that's Once what you, saying, they will, um, this thing, they'll be like, um, I don't know what to do. You're still giving an excuse. And say, the day you will finally say, I don't chop enough, you will stand up and you will leave. You will find a way. What are you saying? And I think that, I think we need to start doing more. Like, please, aside marriage, what do you want for yourself? Like yourself, yourself, yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about you and the man. They will say what it's do you marriage. want for yourself? Like, if you leave, after leave, after you give birth, finish, you train your children and you die, you're going to be like, hi. I remember when my mom my mom is this I like this is what I want I want to live like yes girls please everything is not marriage I don't know how like and the expression is worse I've never seen a girl that really wants to get married <laughs> it's demonic the description is demonic. That's if your like, sense flies out the window. Girl, what you wouldn't tolerate on in your mouth. You do better. And then in this, in this like lies of seeking for marriage and girls will forget. Like we need to do better. 
No, we will. We, we have to center. Like, we have to. But like, if we start talking about this, it's going to be like it's going to be very long. So let's just like shift it. So, <laughs> this is phase one. God. So how are you guys doing? <laughs> how is Nigeria treating you? How is like how is the adults adulting? Oh because my man, God. it's not easy. <laughs> Showing me, she was like, God, you would have let me die when I was seven years old. <laughs> no, I don't want to die. Ah, oh my God! The adult, like, the adulthood is the only part of adulting. Mm -hmm. Adulthood is that. Mm -hmm. Who will you tell? Thank you. I don't know what to say. Go you get me some? Oh my bro. Who will okay, you tell? Everybody, literally, I think literally everybody is going through one shit, shit or the other. Yes. My shit might be different from your shit, but everybody. But the good is part of it is that, that at the end of the day. Some people better pass some people. Sure. Exactly. But if you see who you better pass, I beg help them. <laughs> even if it, everything is not financial, you know, exactly, right? Exactly. Yes. Everything is not even financial. But if it's to call the person to work, like, mm, yeah. I mean, I'm a living witness. I think that that really did a lot for me. Like, and that's one thing. That's me, one thing yeah. I I don't like about Nigeria because Nigeria they don't really like they don't really uh, what will I say now like prioritize therapy. Therapy is like yeah. Okay. There was a point like my head was filled up like it just just one small thing triggered me i busted open everybody collected that day every freaking body collected yeah. that day and it's very crazy because if i was seeing like somebody or i had someone that i could talk to someone this, this doesn't say like me this doesn't mean like you don't have friends to talk that's different talking to like a licensed therapist a professional therapist is way it's different way if i had yeah. someone to talk to probably it wouldn't get to that point mm -hmm. and then i started looking for help actually i i um, there was this stuff that the mom posted on, on youtube better help i went there and i registered and they 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 um they hooked me up with a therapist but i didn't like i didn't want a man i wanted a woman so i haven't like i'm still waiting for them to like assign another therapist I'm sure another I'm, therapist. i think i'm going to try that because if i came to lagos yeah mm. i think around this september yeah beginning of this month mm. i was actually talking to my friend like please i need to see a therapist I, like i feel i'm not okay so the guy was like talk to me joe you know that kind of thing i actually opened up to him yeah he told me what he had to tell me mm -hmm. i was like no that's I not mean, what I, mean, I want. I mean, yes, exactly. I need to see That's a right. professional. Just like, just like now, I'm sick. Mm -hmm. and i'm going to a chemist instead of going to go and see a doctor mm -hmm. or maybe i have ear problem instead of me going to see an ent doctor i'm going to see a general yeah, doctor it doesn't, doesn't yeah, it doesn't make sense it doesn't really make sense so, yeah, yes. i think i think the therapy it's is ah uh, so it's needed. that's one thing i need for like people to just prioritize in nigeria it i know that true. there are problems they'll be like ah money will go use chop i go use and go give person can you make that for god now person will never see shit you will even come care. to a point you will have the money health is zero percent if you don't mental health issues oh <laughs> bye hey there was something there was this there was something i was actually discussing with my friends i think day before you said yeah we actually went to see one of my friends the guy is married and then we are seeing this movie you know Talk about talk. About, we start talking about relationships. Like, what do you think that couples need? Like, they need to do to like you know, keep keep relationship flowing. Like, it doesn't really need to like get uh, especially when it leads to marriage. Because communication. I, yes, outside. Yeah, communication is, is number one. Communication is is like communication is one of the first that's true first because true, communication yeah. is very very is so much on that plate and it doesn't make sense because i feel like people don't really talk about things even during the um relationship stage they don't talk about some certain important especially things. the sex part please wait let's finish no, I'm serious. no 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 guys Why? no i just this leads to like 70 percent of the men cheat how i no, i I know they said yes. I know they said men are polygamous in nature. Yeah. Blah blah blah. blah. I know that that is that's true, girl. Wait, I don't know if there is any guy. There are guys in the room. I think, I think you guys will agree with me. Some people are in a relationship with girls, yeah, and maybe they like you know the so they like to have fun during sex. Okay, they want to like maybe explore, and then exactly. I'm not comfortable with it. I can't do that. It's not even about being comfortable. Maybe because of the way. They are I was seeing up. you or the way you talk. Now the guys will not like, okay, babe, please. I like this. It still boils down to communication. Not many, especially the sex parts. They don't they don't communicate well there. You 
get it. I understand. Yes. But I don't think if if let's say for instance mm. I'm dating somebody and the person goes ahead and cheats on me and he's telling me that the reason is because or um, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, you're mad. I'm sorry, you're mad. I'm valid. This you're thing. mad because this man cannot open up his mouth and cheating, that lame cheating is so deliberate that it cannot be a mistake. No, cheating is well calculated. Do you know? Do you know the extent you have to go to for you to like to cheat on your partner? Maybe boyfriend, girlfriend. You have to save the person's contact with a different name. You have to be very sneaky about it. Yeah. You have. To, it is well calculated for oh. it to be a mistake. Cheating on that. And I don't believe that men are polygamous in nature. Guys, I don't. please. I don't. That's their popular saying. I don't. Because if, if, do you know, eh, it's even very crazy that guys have said that men are polygamous in nature. It's now very, very like wildly accepted. It doesn't make sense because you will see a man going towards like 35, 40. You'll be like, baby, play with it, it will rise. How? You don't even have the stamina. You don't even have the strength. So why are you not women? <laughs> women, 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 actually have, women actually have women actually have sexual energy. We have sexual stamina. A woman can have sex four or five times in a day if she decides. Men can't. So if you're being polygamous, we switch energy with Chelsea with Viagra. Are you mad or something? It doesn't make sense because if it even comes to polygamous women are the one that are actually polygamous in nature it is actually women i'm sorry because we have well when we get to our probably thirties, that is when our libido gets high are you serious yes oh yeah. i'm going to that is <laughs> There is something they say about once you clock 30. I can't wait to be my 30. But then, once we get to our 30s, our libidos get way higher. Mm. Men, as they get older, they are on drops. So how exactly are you polygamous with a low libido? I don't know. Excuse me. I don't know. How? But all I'm saying is... I feel like... When it comes to communication... It's not I feel women like... To do women, it's because of societal pressure and all of that. They've managed to suppress our sexual energy. They've managed to suppress our sexuality. That is why they will tell you, you have to keep yourself for a man. You have to do this. Do that. I'm, I'm, You're training I, 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 a lady for a man that is not trained. Yeah. Make it make sense. Like, make yeah, it make I sense. I understand. But I feel like, on the other hand, talking about the communication, mm -hmm. like, we need to do better. I might let me take myself for an example. Maybe I meet a man mm -hmm. and he's not good, like he's not what you like. Like you know, there's everybody's you might you, like you mustn't get a complete package. But at least you have to get something close. You have to get something close. Mm -hmm. And then in getting something close, sometimes you have to help your partner mm -hmm. to build to that perfection. Yeah. That is just nobody's perfect, but you have to build towards mm -hmm. perfection. Then please, why don't you open your mouth and tell your guy or your girl, be Please, the reason why I don't like spending nights with you is because you don't use deodorant, you smell. Is it that easy? Please, if you love me, you tell me things. There are people that don't receive, once it's not compliment, they don't receive criticism. And that is not communication. Okay. I feel like if, if it's your partner, about, I feel yeah, like I'm you should find a way yes, to, to do like, it. You, yeah, there has to be a way for it to like, have to talk about it. And guys, there are some person. guys that they like BJ. They can't even open their mouth to tell the girl or the woman, please, see you, I like this, so it gives me pleasure. No, when, really it, when it comes to that, it. when it comes to that, it's even the women that don't even have the mind because they'll see you as your wayward. They will see you as your wife. Wow. Guys, actually, guys are actually like very, very audacious when it comes to sex. They'll be like, I want to do this, I want to do this, get on your knees. But, but when it comes to a lady, you will see someone that likes to receive head. And then she's scared of telling the man, I want this because the man might see her in a different light. Oh, uh, me, yeah. I gotta tell you, if you get angry, fuck yes. out. Because yes, I will be like, I can't come to that. You, when and you, then you won't do the same. That's and the, then if I go out to get it, you'll be like, oh, that's what I'm like, hello. saying. Because it's societal pressure. It's, it's societal Please, pressure. Please, this is the first time you guys. Me, I have a daughter here. Yeah? I can discuss, I think there should be an age, mm -hmm. yeah, that she would come up to. I know that I can discuss. Sexual some certain things, things that is actually very very okay for her, for level. her level and the thing, yes. the thing about these things is that you would think you don't want to tell your child you're trying to protect the child will go outside and get the wrong information so it's better they hear it from you Thank because you. i don't want i mean everybody we grew up we went to school mm -hmm. so we know what's up you know what happens in school you understand 
there are things i can't tell my mom there are things i can't open up to my mom not because i'm scared but because the relationship wasn't laid on time the foundation is not there and i can't say it you understand but then if i had a different upbringing or if i was maybe brought up in a different way and there was like my mommy and i we are, we are like this we are tight but even at that there are things that you don't yeah. say in an african home and it doesn't make sense honestly mm -hmm. so I feel I feel like when when we train these little ones up, you have to tell them because if you don't tell them, they're going to hear from school and from TV. With the way content is flying up and down, you you can't you can't you can't just send someone your child is like is going to see. You understand? You have to like tell the child and all of that, all of that, all of that, all of that. Guys, just you know this whole um, video and stuff. It's been a long time I came on here, so I yeah. just decided to like just throw in this video, just you know having random conversations and stuff. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to comment. Okay, we have a very fun video coming up. Just, 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 just stay tuned. It's like that. a warm up. But like, <laughs> just, like, like you know, before we started this video, yeah, we didn't have any topic. Guys. Just I'm come on here yeah, and like some certain areas. Freestyle it, yeah. just wing it, you know. But yeah, I hope you guys have fun. Just drop your comments in the comment section, okay? You will learn job. Very bad character. <laughs> So guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.